<laughs> Previously on the Red Zone. So I think you're seeing things. Are you mm. okay? I thought I was. <laughs> He's not the only thing. He's not the only one seeing things, Ryder. Shh, don't tell him. I need to rethink things. As Max continued his search for his family, he began to question his own sanity, wondering if those that he had met were the sane ones, and he, in fact, was crazy. He continued down the road, looking for some kind of sign. Why, what is this? It looks like a series of cabins. <laughs> well, maybe I can make something here. So this area. Hey, sir, can we just talk for a minute? Um, yeah, sure. I don't know if that's necessary, though. Ah, well, you know, intimidation goes a long way, I suppose, in this new world. Yeah, I suppose. That's just about a lot of fire if you want to just take a seat and we can talk about whatever you wanted to talk about. Ah, just a few questions. Yeah, don't mind me. I mean, you're no trouble. I see you're alone, or at least you appear to be. Yeah. Unfortunately. alone for a while. Ah, yes. I... Me as well. For the time being. Now, I'm not gonna give you her name because I imagine you'll remember any feature of any woman that passes by you these days, but have you happened to see a woman in the past 48, 72 hours? Couple. Um... One of them wanted to eat my eyeballs, and, um, I think the other one was a figment of my imagination. Uh, European. I don't think she was very fond of eyeballs. Uh, no. So I don't think that No, I haven't met any European women. She would probably introduce herself as Natasha. Okay, well... Um, is she a uh, friend or foe? Mm, depends on... I guess that depends on you, I suppose. Well, oh, right now, she's, oh. oh, for me, yes. Uh, she's a friend. Okay, well, if I find her, I'll tell her that, uh... I'm sorry, what's your name? James. James. My name's Max. I'll tell her James is looking for her. Apologies for the gun pointing business. Uh, no problem. That's completely Good. understandable. It's a, it's a scary world out there. I've <laughs> met some pretty strange people. Oh. Oh, uh, well, yeah. If people who are saying they want to eat your eyeballs, I imagine so. Well, I want this fire go. Uh, my wood's ruined already. <laughs> uh. Try again. Oh, thank you. Oh, we need some kindling. Uh, 
But um, you, you uh, just warming up, or is this your little homestead? Well, uh, it seemed like a nice place. Uh, there's water, and I'm sure I could probably find some animals nearby to hunt. And there's a town not too far away, so I could probably scavenge stuff from there. That's the only thing I can think of right now. I don't have many other choices. Yeah, tell me about it. This all seems like a, a bad dream to me. One day I'm at my camp with the, uh, well, the Tasha. Next day I'm waking up on a <clears throat> unfamiliar town. The bare minimum is it? Yeah, this is all just some sort of bad dream. Uh, I know how you feel. Well, don't get me wrong, I'm used to the infected and whatnot, and I guess it's running into to the odd thought here and there that wants to eat your eyeballs, but, but this is not the world I remember. Uh, definitely not. A little bit different for me, too. I'm not from here, and I'm in a, a well, hell, it seems. Mm. One day I'm... I find a lot of similarities from the old world and this world we live in now, but I wouldn't necessarily call it hell. Yeah, I suppose, but I've, uh, I've lost some. Oh, well, you consider yourself too special, we've all lost some. I suppose. I came here for my, my older brother's wedding and never did actually get to see his face. Two years I've been in this country. Sorry to hear that. Little brother, I mean, ah, let's not get into what happened to little brother, but I, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm sure your tragedies were just as tragic. But... Yeah, we all have our tragedies. Well, consider yourself lucky. You're still breathing. That you're... lady didn't, in fact, eat your eyeball. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, I. Uh, seemed a bit off, and I decided to part ways. Um, strange question. If someone told you they were going to a candy cane, do you know what they would mean? Oh, Green Mountain. Green Mountain. Do you know where that might be? Um, directly west of here. If you head up these hills, and a little bit north, Ward Starry, you'll see a set of power lines, and those yeah. power lines heading west will take you directly towards Green Mountain. They call it a candy cane because it's a fairly large tower with red and white stripes. Okay, so I'm guessing I, I can't miss it. Um, from what I've been hearing, though, apparently, Starry Sabor is quite hectic these times. I was traveling through there, and there's some shots zigging past my ears. I was lucky to get out of there quickly as I did. Uh, I'll be sure to steer clear from there. Well, I'm going to continue my search down to, I believe it's Mogilevka, and then I'm going to double back. She knows where to find me. I'm surprised I haven't found her already, or how we even got separated in the first place. Like I said, bad dream. I hear you. Well, tell you what, I might not be here, but if you ever come back through here, I'll be back here myself someday, so... If you're ever looking for me, this is the place. Yeah, if you find one of these laying around with a note in it, it's most likely from me, but, uh, I guess you probably won't be running into too many James out there. <laughs> James is... Uh... We'll see. Alright, well keep safe, Max. You too. People. You too. With the new information that James provided him, Max decided to make his way towards Green Mountain. If there are a lot of people there, there's a good chance that some of them might have seen his wife and child. He was also curious to see if he would run into Ryder, maybe confirm whether or not he was truly going insane. Oh, 
What have I gotten myself into? Whoa. What's that? What is that? It's like a crashed helicopter. There it is. I think that's it. 